There was a big turnout here at Jackson's Hotel in Balbuffet tonight for the Donegal GAA Health and Wellbeing Conference, the first of its type in the county. The county chairman, Sean Durnion, introduced the event, and among the speakers were Colin Regan, the community and health manager at Croke Park, Dr Charlie McManus, who was with the Donegal senior team from 2010-2014, Mr Ronan Doherty and Miss Maria Faulkner from the Letterkenny IT, who did a case study on footballer Carl Lacey, who also addressed the gathering here this evening, and the keynote speech was given by Professor Niall Monion from the School of Health and Human Performance at DCU, who talked about the benefits of exercise. Wellness is a very, very broad concept. You know, it, it takes in spiritual, emotional, physical, all of those attributes, and you know, it's 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 one, you know, it's a unified thread. And I think people underestimate the importance of wellness. And as a large organisation, I think it's incumbent upon the GEA to ensure that we look. It's more than just sport and more than just performance. And, yeah. and it's great to see these sort of initiatives and GEA themselves having an, having a committee that actually looks after this. It's a it's a big step forward. So there's huge demands on a Gaelic football player at the moment. Um, so it's, I suppose just getting the right balance um, is the key to it and as I said thankfully in Donegal we have great support team around us as players and I know players probably always get the, the credit or the manager might get the credit for the victory but you know there's a hell of a lot of work that goes in behind the scenes in terms of your sports science and, and your backroom and your support teams. We events I guess here do help getting young people out I see there's a few young people in the audience you know different things I guess here will, will, will always help so it will. Yeah. All credit goes to the Donegal Health and Wellbeing Committee in pulling this together. It's to launch their work, uh, and as you said, it's important work. Um, it's something that the GA has been doing since it started, really. Uh, you know, looking after its members, looking after its communities. That's what the association has been all about. Yeah. What these new health and wellbeing committees are doing is just putting a little bit more structure on it, uh, developing a little bit more, some more res suitable resources for our clubs and our members and hopefully really tying the whole thing together as one happy family. If everyone's going in the same direction, then you get a great result, you know. It can only, it, it can only end one way and that's, a, and that's in a very positive way, you know. We're really there to signpost our members to all the services that are here tonight and uh, the HSE, all, all the services, all the uh, road safety. I'm looking around at Aware, there, Pieta House, the Samaritans, they're all here tonight and we're there to signpost people to them if they need help and we're just going to be the conduit to get, get that help for them. A hugely successful night here in Jackson's Hotel as the Donegal GAA showed its commitment to the health and well-being of all its members, whatever their role in the association. Charlie Collins for Donegal TV in Balla Buffet.